Yo, what's up, y'all? I know it's been a while. I'm really excited today because I'm trying a new format. I'm trying to edit less and shoot more. So I'm going to try to start this ride-along series um, where basically on my way back from work, on my way to work, if I'm traveling, I'll use that opportunity to talk my shit. So today we'll be talking about this B. Taylor situation. Um, I was sent the live stream she did exposing Princella, the queen maker, uh, which is somebody that I've referenced in um, one of my case studies. Uh, the case study that I did about um, the white supremacist on Fresh and Fit and the black girls who were cheering him on or, I guess, encouraging him to be his useless self. And one of the things I brought up was how platforms like that nurture... Uh, it's, it's funny to call it talent, but nurture caricatures, right? Um, it's not about being accurate. It's not about being helpful. It's not about being uh, logical, but it's about being entertaining. And uh, one of the ways that Princella launched her social media stardom, quote unquote, was through Fresh and Fit. And uh, I'm reminded of uh, one of my favorite quotes by one of the good brothers who watches this channel. He said, if you continue to pitch uh, if you stop pitching tents for clowns, there will be no more circus, right? And he was talking specifically about how men pay women with our sexual attention, but we also expect them to act right. Um, but I would extend that to the entertainers that we consume, the movies, music, YouTube videos that we consume, um, what is the bottom line? What is the, uh, you know, shout out to the late Kevin Samuels. What is the net net of uh, continued support of this person or this platform and the eventual success or failure of this person or this platform? And we have proven time and time again that we care more about performance over progress. Right. And that's why somebody like Princella, who would get on the camera and say, uh, most men that she's talked to, if they were a woman for a day, they would give all their homeboys some pussy. And nobody nobody thought this person was full of shit. But anyway, uh, long story short, apparently she has been a female advocate, whatever that means, and galvanized a lot of women to uh, continue to despise men and vilify men as the source of their discontent, the source of their lack of success in romance, you know, uh, even though her life and as it's been even more exposed by B. Taylor, her life is not a testament to what she talks about. Apparently she was married, is currently still married legally um, to a man who I would assume is not a man that other men would revere if that was the woman that he picked out to validate with marriage. But now she's a lesbian. And nobody saw anything wrong in that, right? Uh, and I'm reminded of one of the critiques of the late Kevin Samuels was, he's saying all this stuff about women because he is a gay man and eventually his goal is to hoard all the men to himself, right? And literally, <laughs> that is what Princella has been in the in the reverse, right? Um, Kevin Samuels was he was uh, critiqued about his fashion sense, which is more classic, more dapper. Um, but can you imagine? If he was actually wearing skirts on interviews and makeup and earrings on interviews and talking about how women are the scum of the earth, how that would have went over. But when a 
sexually confused woman who chooses to present as a man from time to time uh, is on the <laughs> on the interwebs talking her pseudo intellectual talk about who men are, who men aren't. People people lap it up. It's it's ridiculous. It's it's actually ridiculous. But again, we keep pitching tents for clowns and we continue to wonder what the why the circus is in town. But anyway, to B Taylor. Um B Taylor and I had a live stream probably two years ago. Um on the heels of the Just Pearly Things debacle. And um, obviously I was on her side because, you know, as a Afrocentric man who is interested in our community, our men and our women in particular, <clears throat> reconciling our differences, I wanted to kind of show her solidarity. And I also wanted to talk through some of uh, those differences. One of the things that stood out to me about that live stream, and you guys are welcome to go watch it, is that the live stream ended up being about five hours, five and a half hours. Uh, about an hour and a half in or so, hour, two hours in, I realized that she wasn't really receptive. She wasn't approaching the conversation in good faith. So I suggested, hey, um, you know, I remember you said you had stuff to do. You know, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate your time, this, this, and that. Uh, but the conversation kept extending right which which kind of showed me that um her hardened kind of dismissive or difficult demeanor is a facade right like she desperately wants to find meaning find understanding have connection relationship communication all that good stuff However, for whatever reason, life has uh, dealt her a bad hand, right? And I would assume the same for Princella. I think I saw a clip where she was talking about having been abused as a, as a child, right? And that's why, you know, a lot of times when I hear a lot of the manosphere conversation about how women are this or these women are that, it's like, yo, y'all got to temper that shit back and... and, and be delicate with your words, because if you actually heard these people's stories, which I've been fortunate to hear certain women's stories, like a lot of this shit is heartbreaking. Like once you start actually listening to the things they've been through, the things that they've seen, the things that they've experienced, it's literally one plus one equals fucked up. Right. And the same goes for Cynthia G. The same goes for any man or woman that you could name that is now a social or social media pariah. But again, we've been we've been socialized to be combative. We've been socialized to be adversarial. So we don't take a second to consider these things. So we meet bullshit with bullshit. And I think especially in our community. And it just it's a cycle of confirmation bias because the the younger version of Princella, who might be watching Princella, may be watching a man interacting with Princella. Instead of seeing that, hey, man, this brother is showing compassion, this brother is showing kindness, uh, there might be hope. I might not have to go all the way like I'm seeing that she has. It's more confirmation, man. Fuck these niggas, man. They, 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 they treated me bad and they're not even going to empathize with who I've become enough to show me any kind of grace. And then the cycle continues. But like I've said many times, we have to expand this conversation. We have to become more articulate, more considerate with what we're talking about. Um, and we have to fight against this thing devolving to just simple, uh, simple combat, right? You know, it's, it's ironic The one of the Lapeef Network shows was, uh, or Anton shows was Fight Club. Dialogue has devolved into combat. And there's no way we can expect to get anything done in that, in that, in that paradigm, right? It's, it's always about so, so, and so is trying to play me. What are you trying to say? What do you mean by that as opposed to like a sharing of ideas, you know, discourse, maybe disagreement, elaboration, and we get to a place where 
I'm leaving with something and you're leaving with something. There is something you can teach me and there's something you can learn from me. And that's what I've always wanted we need to talk to be, to become, to uh, exemplify. But unfortunately, as you guys have seen, um, that's not where the demand is, unfortunately, right? That's not what sells. And I'm not naive enough to know that this road is potentially going to be longer. And, you know, side note, it's, it's also interesting seeing some of my content, even content with me in it, doing better on other people's pages than it does it performs on mine. All right. So for those of you guys who've been wondering, why am I not posting? I'm not doing any live streams. Um, I'm going to see how this this works out. Maybe this is the new format. Uh, I'm excited about it because, you know, I did a little test and it, it kind of looks smooth. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like, subscribe, um, share, go watch some other shit. Another reason I haven't been posting is I realized I have 600 or something videos that most of y'all haven't even watched. So the easiest thing to do, either go to the videos tab, sort by popular, sort by newest, sort by oldest, or go to the playlist tab, and I've actually sorted it by um, series, right? So I have a series called Listen to Black Men. I have a series called uh, Kevin Samuels Started This Conversation, a series called Black Marriage Masterclass, a series called Christian by Default, a series called uh, The Traveling Podcast, The Table is another series. So listen, there's a catalog for you guys to sift through. Uh, support the work, support real work, stop supporting bullshit. Even in your hatred of bullshit, you are supporting bullshit because that's time, that's attention, that's eyes, that's demand, and that's what social media feeds off of. So appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Man, this shit, man, this shit turn out well. I'm going to be hyped.